it's one of those moments that I've replayed in my head a thousand times. Did I do everything I could have done? Am I responsible for what happened? Why wasn't I killed in the blast? My name's Corporal Tyson Murray. I'm a high risk search team commander deployed on operations in Afghanistan in 2010 and 2012. done something differently with the boys still be alive. PTSD to me started out as I was just drinking a bit and my behaviour was a little bit irrational. If things didn't go my way, I'd yell and I'd just get really, really angry. I'd get drunk and just cry for hours. And over time, it encompassed my life. I compare myself to what I was, a respectable, hardworking role model, a leader. I look at myself now and like I'm an emotional mess that struggles to get out of bed some days. I know something has to change. Six months ago I heard about Mates for Mates. It was set up by the Queensland RSL to support soldiers coming back from Afghanistan. Mates for Mates use adventure challenges to help us get our confidence back. We're not broken, we just need a bit more time to readjust. They've given us the goal of kayaking a thousand kilometres from Sydney to Brisbane. We'll paddle 50 kilometres a day, hugging the coastline. So this is it, the big day. Yeah, now uh, I almost feel sick, I'm that nervous. Before we step off, you just sort of take a bit of time to have a look at the ocean and, and get a feel for uh, what's out there. And... Let's do this. People have got a goal to work towards and something to push themselves towards, then the symptoms of PTSD won't show themselves as much. You've got to position yourself so that you increase your chances of survival as, as best as possible. I guess it could sound crazy, but I like this sort of scenario. Like when you get picked up and you get thrown by the wave, you get that adrenaline rush and you get that stimulation. It's just not everyday monotonous bullshit. I think in this sort of situation, my PTSD uh, helps me be more aware. I'm constantly looking for what's happening next and where the threat's coming from and that sort of keeps me on my toes a bit. Being with other people that have PTSD, not going to be judged. They're people you can relate to and they've been through similar situations. It makes you feel like you're not alone. We feel like we've overcome a lot of personal hurdles. I think we're, we're better people for what we've gone through together. So you don't want people to think you're crazy. You just want people to see you as what you are. You're just going through a rough patch. Never above you, never below you, always beside you. Rest in peace. <laughs>